Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rocking with the best. You heard? What's up, peoples? What's up? What's... Sorry, people. Sorry, people. I, I got interrupted with a phone call. Give three things you're grateful for. Three things you're grateful for. What up, brother? What up, Kelvin? Kelvin Roberts, salute, brother. Salute! God damn, I'm so hype right now, man. I'm hyper today, man. I'm excited. I got my goddamn Red Bull. I'm, I'm Jack, Kelvin. I'm Jack, brother. <laughs> but uh, I, I, uh, I want to talk about how you can use frustration to take you to the next goddamn level, man. I, I always tell my story. My story is this. Look. I came to Chicago with $150 in my pocket, a brown ass suitcase, and a boom box. That's all I had to my name, man. That's all I had. People here in Chicago know how I get down. And I ain't talking about get down on some gangster shit, oh, I clap, clap a nigga. No, 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 no. They know that you don't have to feed this guy. Show him where the zebra is and he'll hunt it himself. Show him where the gazelle is and he'll go get the gazelle. Like what did he said on, on, on Notorious B.I.G.? He said, drop me in a jungle and I'll have I'll have a chinchilla on my back and a, a, a full belly from eating so damn much. What up, Londo? But you gotta use frustration to get to that level. You got to be so, so pissed off with your current situation that you force yourself. You get so aggravated and so angry that you want, you, you force massive action, right? You force yourself, like, I, when I was living in a small studio apartment, yo, I mean, this thing was so tiny. I had to get, I could have been complacent and been happy, would have been like, hey, I'm just happy to have... A, a, a place over my head, food in, in the refrigerator and stuff like that. No, I had to get so fucking pissed off that why the hell am I staying in this small goddamn studio? No! I don't deserve to be in this studio apartment anymore. I deserve a bigger place. And you have to get frustrated to want to say, and then when you get frustrated and you get out of your comfort zone and you can't grit it, you can't bear it anymore, that's when you start you have to take that energy and start writing down how the hell you got to get out of that situation. How the hell am I going to get a bigger place? What kind of moves will I have to make to get out of this situation, man? You dig? Some cats, they'll go um, move work in the streets, right? Other cats will, you know court certain women that have a bigger place to, you know, I'm just saying, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a hundred with you guys, man, can I, can I be honest with you guys, can I, can I keep it a stack, a rack, 100% real with you guys, there are guys that'll go out there and manipulate women so they can have a better living situation, I know many people like that, right, there are guys that, um, that will move work in the street to get out of their situation, whether they, wherever they live in that. There are guys that will um, shack up with a female they know they would never shack up with because they know income tax season is coming and they need that bread, right? There are guys that will lie, steal, and cheat. Let, let's be honest, man. There are people that will lie, steal, and cheat in your job to get to that next level, to get them out of whatever situation that they're currently living in. Why would they go to those extremes? Because they're angry with and frustrated with the situation that they're currently living in. Or they, they maybe they want to take more trips and go to Paris and England and London and Africa and all these beautiful places. They're tired of just going to California and, and Utah. They want to go to places where 
they can, you know, like really experience life on a whole different level. So they get frustrated and be like, you know what, I'm tired of taking these local ass trips. I'm tired. I'm, re I'm ready for a change. So because of because of that that inner frustration, that that I'm tired of being in my comfort zone, they use that frustration and then they spring into action and take massive action, man. Massive action. I'm just keeping it real with you guys, man. Frustration and being and complaining is not all bad. You have to complain sometimes to be to realize where you're at in life, right? If 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 your position isn't treating you right, well, the company you're with or your your company isn't making the numbers that it should be making. Boys, don't blame nobody else but yourself. Look at yourself and say, I control this. If if I'm having a shitty day, it's not because the day is being doesn't like me. It's that I don't, I'm not positioning myself to maximize my day and have a fabulous day. Let me see what your uh, qu question is, Lando. What's going on? I'm listening. You're absolutely right. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Frustration is a brain processing complexity. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It merely means you need more training and practice. So, yeah, use your frustration. Absolutely. See, Lando, you understand me, brother. Frustration is nothing more than just letting you know that you are in a space where, where it does not allow growth. It's like the lobster. Uh, that wants to grow but he's in a small shell and what does he do he eventually breaks out of that shell and grow and finds a place to hide and then grows a new shell and comes back out bigger and better bigger and better bigger claws and everything right frustration is a trigger that's letting you know that something ain't right you need to do something Take he this is like this is that inner voice. And I don't really fuck with Oprah like that, but Oprah Oprah be saying some real shit sometimes. It's that inner voice, it's that intuition that's telling you something is wrong. Something is wrong. You need to change whatever the situation is. You need to take action. What and what's gonna happen on the other side of that action? Then you won't be fucked. You cannot be frustrated about the same thing anymore if you take massive action to change whatever you're uh, uh, you're upset about. If a girl is cheating on you, right? If a girl is cheating on you and you stay in that relationship and you start getting angry and frustrated and you're you're confused and now your inner your inner soul is telling you something ain't right about this relationship, man. I, I, I'm, I'm angry when I come home. I'm blowing up on her. She doesn't respect me. I need to do something. But if you continue to stay in that relationship, your frustration continues and continues to grow. So you have to take massive action and leave that situation. Now, it's impossible for you to be frustrated about that now. Because you have removed yourself from a toxic environment. You dig? So I use these inner these inner things that I don't know. I'm not a holy holy dude. I'm not all this uh, you know religious and shit like that. But these are these are are, are, are God given. I don't know what do you want to call it, man. Like like powers and shit, right? Certain things you feel you don't know why it triggers this, like fear, frustration, so a certain type of emotions. Uh, jitters and shit like that these are these are god-given uh, powers you find out what it's used for and use it to your advantage use it to the point where it propels you to the next level man i want to see a bunch of you guys making millions and millions of dollars god damn it that's what i want i want to hear 
I want to go into Walmart because I don't give a shit if I have five million dollars. I'm still shopping at Walmart. I like Walmart. I might still shop at Seagulls or, or Bloomingdale's and stuff, but I like Walmart. I like being around. I, I'm a down to earth person. I want to go into Walmart one day and somebody say, yo, Tiger Toledo, I've seen your videos, man. You motivated me, man. Because of your videos, I've made these changes in my business, these changes in my life, and it has uh, caused betterment in my overall being. Dude, you can't put no price tag on that. So what you think I'm going to do on Facebook Live? I'm going to keep pumping out content. If you like it, 10 cents. If you don't like it, a dime. This is your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. Rock with me. I got a uh, go on my YouTube page, Tiger Toledo Gully Wear Studios. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like I said, I'm hyping shit right now. I don't know if it's these damn Red Bulls in me right now, but I'm 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 on ten. I got wings right now, baby. <laughs> I got wings right now. So rock with your boy. I'm on YouTube. I got over 84 videos on there. Um, one of my top videos is how to be a loan shark. That is, that explains to you how to get family members and other people from borrowing money from you and not paying you back. And I guarantee you, after watching that video, you'll you'll do you'll do two things. You'll either get all your money back or you'll get all your money back with interest. So look for that video on my YouTube channel, How to Be a Loan Shark. Uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the post notifications. Holla at your boy, man. You already know what it is. Peace.